Hi, welcome to the system. It's going to be released in mid-December 1812.7. I've just made a bunch of Sardi icons and um, this brings back the attention to the issues we have in Linux in general. We have in Arch Linux XFCE a little application and we've made it in here, but it used not, did not used to be there. It's just an application. We've made a button here, so it's available. So I'm making this video for all 11 desktops we have on um, Arch Linux. And this hard code thing, hard code fixer is there. You only need to be sudo for it to run it. So sudo hard code fixer is going to check out what is hard coded on your system. What do I mean by that? It means that developers, and that's not us, are making applications, right? And these applications, they tend normally to end up in user share applications with a dot desktop. And HP is one of those guys, open with. And if you see what they are doing, they're doing the wrong thing. They should not put here a pathway like this is the only path he can ever use always so changing an icon theme will not have an impact on this particular application so that's wrong totally wrong and that's why we um, well try first that's my goal try first to get to the developer themselves and say hey stop doing that just name it HP not hp.png or svg or anything no just hp and let the icon themes make their thing here is the same one other example so you see why these guys look the way they look they have a pathway that's not proper thing to do you see 99 percent has done it correctly it's just a few developers who are still uh, having these path ways so either you Click here with this fix hard coded icons if you have it. I believe it's also on uh, Mate, if I think correctly, remember correctly. And these four guys you see HP is here and GU, VC, View have now been fixed, meaning again they're all looking nice. And each time you get an update in, that's the problem. Each time they update the, their applications, the pathway again is updated and is again wrong. So again, we need to run the hard code fixer. So everything looks nice, everything is gray in the sense that none of them are following a pathway at this point in time. But I was making a tutorial about Arch Linux B Gaming. I've made around 50 uh, icons for games mid-December released. And um, well, there we see that a lot of things um, can still be fixed, can it still be improved. On Linux. So what I'm asking as well in this video is if you see a hard-coded path like that and you do not know the developer, if you know the developer, great, uh, try to contact him and say, please don't do it. Just put in the name, not a path, just the name and let the icon themes take over. If that's not the case, if you cannot do that, then you are, well, Suggestions should suggest it to take a look at this uh, website here, sign in, and then you can add the issues here. So we use Fogalone's hard code fixer to fix elements. So these have been just reported by me. And you can do just the same, just say new issue, and then of course log in. And then you see this uh, drop down. Uh, things you need to fill in, application name, icon, I've explained that in another video. So if we keep trying to um, report first to the developer so that Fogalong does not have too much work, if the developer can change it, great. If it's not uh, changeable there, if you don't know who it is and where it's coming from, then we can't. And we need to, if, if we report it to Fogalong, then again, this little application that we have will only be more and more powerful since this is relying on his database. If you're putting more stuff in his database, we'll have a better system. That's basically the message. So if you have uh, icons that are not following, we have this little icon, but it's also in a terminal. Uh, there you can fix it as well. So depending if you're in BSP, WM or other um, desktops, we have 11 of them. So 
there's a thermal thing and there's a, a way in the XFC settings and multi settings and others. All right, enjoy at Linux.